Okay, in order to look at, uh, at limits and continuity, let's take this hybrid function here. Okay, we can see this hybrid function has different parts as you go along. So the question is, for the following function, part A says, find the value of f of 1 and f of 2. Okay. Part B says, find the limit as x tends to 1 of f of x and the limit as x tends to 2 of f of x and then from that in part 3 whoops not r I think what we really mean to say is is f continuous at x equals 1 and x equals 2. Okay, so there are our three questions. And clearly, the bit of theory that we'll be using is that a function f is only continuous at a point x equals a if the limit as x tends to a of f of x equals f of a. Okay? So that's the that's the bit of theory that we'll always be using with continuity. Alright, so let's go on and start this question. Firstly, let's look at the question find the value of f of 1 and f of 2. Okay, well how do we do that? Well, f of 1 simply means the height of the function when x is exactly equal to 1. Okay, Here is where x is exactly equal to 1 and that height is exactly equal to 2. Okay, So quite a straightforward question. Similarly, f of 2 means what's the height of the function when x equals 2? That's where this other filled in dot is, so f of 2 is up here, and that's clearly equal to 3. Okay, So that first, that first question shouldn't pose too many problems. Okay, the second one is find the limit as x tends to 1 of f of x. Now what does this mean? This means, if you're a person walking along the function, as you get closer to x equals 1, what's your y-coordinate? Okay. So if we were to wander along the curve from the bottom left here, as we get closer and closer to x equals 1, what does our height get closer to? And it clearly gets closer to 1. And it doesn't matter which side you come from. Whether you come from the left or from the right, you get the same answer, so the limit is equal to 1. Okay, So that one's nice and easy to do. What about the limit as x tends to 2? What happens when we get close to x equals 2? Well, there's a problem here, isn't there? Because when you come from the left, when you come up from the left there, What's your limit equal to? The limit as x tends to... Whoa. What's your limit as x tends to 2 coming from the negative side of f of x? And that's equal to 2. Okay. So when you're coming from the left, you get a limit of 2, and that's called a one-sided limit. When you're coming from the right, in other words, as you're sort of moving your way up along here, what's the limit as x tends to 2 when you come from the positive side? Hopefully you can all see that's 3. Okay. So what do you do if 
the two limits coming from different sides, in other words if your two one-sided limits are not the same, in this case they're 2 and 3, well what you do is you say that the two-sided limit x tends to 2 of f of x does not exist. Okay. In other words, a two-sided limit only exists if both the one-sided limits exist and are equal, just like we had for the case x equals 1. Okay, now let's move on to the third question. Are these are, is this function continuous at x equals 1 and x equals 2? And why? Okay, well looking at the graph it's clearly not continuous. What's the reason that the function is not continuous at x equals 1? Well, f is not continuous at x equals 1 because well the function, the limit does exist but it doesn't equal the value of the function exactly at the point because 1 is not equal to 2. Okay, So the reason that the function is not continuous at x equals 1 is because the value of the limit is not the same as the value of the function at that point. f is not continuous at x equals 2 because, and now we have a whole different reason for this, the reason that the function is not continuous at x equals 2 is because the limit as x tends to 2 does not exist. Okay, So there are different reasons why a function is not continuous at a point. It could be because the limit Although the limit does exist, it's not equal to the value of the function. That's what we had at x equals 1. Or it could be that the limit doesn't exist, the function is not continuous because the limit does not exist. Okay? And your task as very good students is to be able to determine the different reasons why a function is not continuous. Okay.